Hi there, my name is Vass and I welcome you to the third step of a five step video tutorial package on how to create a live wallpaper using the live wallpaper creator. I would strongly recommend that you first go over the step three, create a new live wallpaper PDF document that is included in the live wallpaper creator package. The document is much more detailed than this video. This video tutorial is going to be more of a hands on demonstration on how to make a live wallpaper. In the previous tutorial, we configured the live wallpaper creator, created a key, and prepared the build and publishing options. In this tutorial, we will be creating a brand new live wallpaper. So let's get to it. First thing you want to do is open up the live wallpaper creator folder. And as you can see, it has a, a bunch of folders in there, and we'll be using three of them in this tutorial, and that is the fonts, items, and the work folder. Now, go ahead and start up the live wallpaper creator, and I'll show you how to access those folders in a much easier fashion. Um, so if you have the live wallpaper creator open, go to tools, and if you recall, we do have a bunch of shortcut uh, shortcuts here, the um, five buttons, and three of them will actually open those three folders that I just listed. There's the open items folder, which opens the items, the open working folder, which opens the working folder, and the fonts folder. And these are the three ones that we'll be using today. Now we actually included uh, some demo content that you can use for this tutorial to create your own live wallpaper and it's been included in the root folder which is in the, in the live wallpaper creator folder and if you can click on that and drag it out to move to desktop and then extract it and the same way you extracted the live wallpaper creator you will see the demo content folder you go inside and you'll see those three folders that I just listed and they have all the content that we'll be using so let's start with the work folder and you can see there's a picture right there and we will need to place it in the work folder of the live wallpaper creator so let's go back and open the working folder and just drag this over and there you go and close this, go back, find the items, select and now we've got to transfer into the items folder. And there you go. Oh. And there you go. Drag them over and boom. Now there's more explanation available on the file names and what they should be like. Uh, what, they should, what, should, what they should be named as. Uh, all of this information is available in the PDF document. Please refer to it if you need more more uh, details. So there's one last step we have to do is uh, change the font, or rather um, transfer the font over. So open the fonts folder. There's one font. Drag it over, and we're done with the demo content. Now you do want to make sure that the font name matches to the font file name Chantilly Antiqua Chantilly Antiqua and we're good otherwise the live wallpaper creator will not uh, recognize it so it's perfect we're done here now we want to restart the live wallpaper creator for it to see all the new content that we just put in let's go to live wallpaper creator and start it up again and as you can see there's a there's a brand new picture right here. If you click on that, it's going to load it up, and, and you can now see the picture in the workspace. So now that it's loaded, you can see the red frame around it, which will pretty much tell you what um, what the crop size will look like. You do need to crop this picture um, to two sizes, and there's two sizes in HD and mid. So we'll go ahead and uh, select this size you can move it around by left clicking and so only move it on a, a horizontal axis and uh, you can move it freely if you right click on it but we'll just keep it like this in the middle you can see the center is marked with a red plus um, so we'll go ahead and click set to set the crop sizes you can see it will change into a green font and let you know that it's been set. You can uh, also, if you if you want, you can change the the frame 
the size of it, uh, either by height or by width, by clicking on those radio buttons, and just play around with it and you'll find out what those do. Um, you can also change the padding color to which are these two black strips at the top um, to whatever you want, uh, whatever color you want. Like so, like so, or you can use the eyedropper mode, and it'll be it'll act as a color picker. So we'll stick to black, but we won't be using any padding anyways, because we have all the pictures that we want, and we will change the name to um, we'll call it leaves of autumn. Now this is different from what uh, the PDF is telling you to name it because um, I've already gone ahead and prepared that application when I was making the PDF document. So to avoid um, issues with the Android market that simply won't let us upload in the fifth video tutorial, I will name this something else. And we'll call it Leaves of Autumn. So now let's go into the Items tab and select the items that we want to use set all of these leaves uh, we'll the pop style to text and we'll go with the bam pop boom uh, you can change it to anything you like you can separate them by commas um, and you can put in as many elements as you want so next go to fonts configure the fonts there's only one font as you can see uh, but we don't want the red green and blue I don't imagine that will look too good on this background so we'll go with yellow. Actually, let's go with brown. Brown. Yellow for the street display font. And black for the background kind of font. And let's change the sizes to 70. Leave the display font uh, to 50. And let's change the background kind of font to 100. You can see the pop preview if you click on the little checkbox and it'll show you what, what it'll look like when a uh, user taps on one of the following items and the color of it. So that's fine with us. And now we go over to the speeds settings and there's a very good explanation right here um, on how the speeds work. Now these speeds are fairly good and fairly standard except for the fast ones. This, the 200 and 300 might be a little too fast. So we're going to go, go ahead and uh, erase that. And uh, this is this application is pretty much configured, so we'll go ahead and save it. And now we'll save this template as default so that we can use it in the future. Right on. Okay. So we're just about ready to build it. To build it, right click on the navigation pane on your project and click build. Now remember the password that you entered for the key, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the alias is DK. Click build, and just wait for the process to finish. You can see any errors that will come up in the build log, but we don't have any errors, uh, so we're good. Now that it's finished, this pretty much concludes the third video tutorial. So I hope uh, to see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you for being with me. Um, take care.